You must start by supplying electrical power to the airplane. Before you continue with the aileron adjustment procedure, read and understand this warning. It is warning you that personnel and equipment must be clear before hydraulic power is applied and the adjustment started because the flight control surfaces will move automatically during this test. The next step is to ensure the trailing edge flaps are fully retracted. Use a truck or a work stand to gain access to the aileron power control unit located forward of the aileron. Next, you need to operate the maintenance access terminal, or MAT. Use the MAT to perform the adjustment test. Select Onboard Maintenance. Select Line Maintenance, and then on the drop-down menu, select Ground Tests. In Ground Tests, select ATA-27, Primary Flight Control Systems. Select System Test. Then in the sub-menu, select the aileron PCU requiring adjustment. Select continue. We will be adjusting the right outboard aileron PCU. Read the test description and follow the instructions presented on the mat. Here the mat tells us to make sure the left and center wing flight control hydraulic power switches are in the norm position. Check that flight control hydraulic shutoff valve switches are in the norm position and valve closed lights are extinguished. After checking the flight control hydraulic shutoff valve switches, select continue. Note that the test condition states ready if all required tasks are completed. Select start test. After starting the test, the test condition shows operating, and then stop test appears. A pop-up screen appears. Select the PCU requiring adjustment. In our case, the outboard PCU will be adjusted. Select continue. Read the warning and follow the instructions on the mat. You will need to pressurize only the specific hydraulic system depending upon the PCU being adjusted. In our case, the left hydraulic system is required for the right outboard aileron PCU. Pressurize the left hydraulic system. After pressurizing the hydraulic system, return to the mat and then select continue. This screen will appear. The upper part tells you that the PCU is ready for adjustment. The lower part is asking if you are able to rig the PCU and will stay displayed until the rig is completed. Measure the gap on the inboard side between the top surface of the aileron and the top surface of the fixed trailing edge. Make sure that the parameters are as stated in the AMM. Open the access panel and locate the null LVDT. A placard inside the panel shows the location of the null LVDT. Once you locate the null LVDT, remove the lock wire and cap. If the PCU requires adjusting, insert a 1 8 inch Allen wrench into the null LVDT and turn it until the required aileron gap is achieved. As you turn the LVDT, the aileron moves. Continue to turn the null LVDT until the top surface of the aileron is within tolerance. Once the aileron is properly aligned, reinstall the LVDT cap and lock wire. Return to the mat and answer the question at the bottom. If you were able to align the PCU, select yes, and then select continue. A successful alignment test shows as passed on the mat. Now return the airplane to its usual condition by turning off the left hydraulic system and then close the